Hello, this is Matthew from 17UK. In this video, my wife Virgie will be showing you how to crochet a hat and scarf for any doll that is roughly Barbie size. It doesn't have to be Barbie. We've used these hats and scarves on different Disney dolls we've had before or any dolls of similar size. The hat has a little pom-pom on the top, as you can see. We hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us comments and cue the music. For today's project we will need Barbie, needle, scissors, crochet hook and yarn. We will start by measuring how tall we want our hat to be. In this case six five and a half six we start with a slip knot and then we chain the desired length Then we check to make sure this is what we want. For the whole project we will be using half a double crochet stitch which is you yarn over, go to the second stitch from the hook, pull through and go through all of these. We keep going for the whole project like that. Whoops, I've missed the yarn over bit here. And this is our last stitch for this row. We chain one and turn. We work only in the back loop of the stitch. And as I said, this is for the whole project we are doing only this at the back loop of the stitch yarn over and pull through So this is the way you can make any hat for bigger doll, or for a child, for yourself. You just need to know how tall you want or the length of the hat. If you want it to be a little bit um, longer, you just measure 
from where you would put it normally from the where the hair is backwards and this is how you will do all the rows don't forget the last stitch which is hiding some time we just need to do it and then chain and turn so this is again the same thing we're doing this the same thing I know patterns is good and they're good to follow but it's much nicer when you are not restricted with patterns you just need to find the stitch you want to use and then you know what measurements you need to have so we'll continue like this until we've reached our desire length again i would say it needs to go now around the head of the dolly but i will show you when i reach there we will measure again we'll put the actual hat around to make sure that it fits and if it's tight you do another row too and then check again you need to bear in mind that uh, we do a little bit of stitching to put both sides together so it's not nice to be too loose to fall down but when it's enough do another row or two so you have plenty of space All these measurements will be different depending of the thickness of your yarn, the thickness of the hook, the tension, the way you uh, crochet. That's why I'm not telling you how many um, stitches this is and how many rows because each hat would be individual.
I'm just going to check on the barbie to see if this is enough. So we put it like that. I think it's nearly there, but it is a little bit too tight. So I'll do another one or two rows. And this is now, I'm happy with this size. So if you just follow to see what I will do. I put these two sides together. And you go into the first stitch. So the stitch needs to be the same. They will be the same um, number. So we go from the first we grab from both side of the stitch and then do slip stitch i do grab again the back loop and then the second piece so this is how we connect both sides to make it like a circle this is the last one so now we do a slip stitch and then put little bit cut little bit longer thread because now we need to go around and we need to sew the top gap So we just go like this, in and out, in and out. And then we pull. Now we just need to secure the the cotton so it doesn't come undone just go through the whole things few times just to be more secure This is how our beanie hat look like. Let's put it on a Barbie. I think they are so adorable. So 
you can leave it like that and this project can be finished just as a beanie hat looks so cute or if you want it you can add a pom-pom it's uh, entirely up to you how you like it I like the beanie hat but I like it with pompon as well so if you want it you can add a pompon and again you just roughly do a lot of um, yarn around your finger to make a fluffier uh, pompon then tie in the middle and then around both sides so just pull nice and tight so all the yarn is nicely tighten in the middle now just uh, cut the sides which are like little loops now you can shape the pom-pom and here you can see another outfit i've made with a rucksack and a different scarf and hat with pom-pom they look so adorable Just make sure that the pom pom is cut nicely and round and the way you like it. So then we go from the top of the hat with the needle, we just put it on one side and then we do the other on the other side. And then we just need to secure the pom-pom again we can tie it and just a little bit sew through to secure it go to the same with this end And this is our hat with pom-pom. How cute is that? And don't forget you can make a hat for yourself as well. So now we're going to do the same with the scarf. We can measure our desired length. And I'm choosing mine to be 30 centimeters. And we do exactly what we did with the hat. 
we start with a slip knot and then keep doing chains until we've reached 30 centimeters and again I want to stress that you can make it shorter or longer uh, you can make a scarf for yourself as well There are lots of uh, stitches you can use to make scarf, but I wanted to match the hat, so we are going to use the same stitch, half double crochet. Now we can measure to see how far we are. A little bit more. So we yarn over and go in the second from the hook, pull through. So this is a half double crochet. We'll go to the end. And this is one of our other orange hat and scarf I made. I think for this one the scarf went around I didn't do it matching the hat but it's still looking nicely This is another set in red, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now we are approaching our last stitch and we chain one and turn. Just to remind you we are working only in the back loop of the stitch so we can have this nice uh, rigid appearance of the pattern
this is our blue hat you can see that all of these colors look absolutely gorgeous doesn't matter what color you have you can just create a very lovely hat okay so we've cut off the we finish with our scarf as we don't want it thicker if you want it thicker you can continue so i'm just trying to show you how to do it but this was a little bit too short so cut like that and fold it in two and we need to make a little decoration on the side so pull it through this was the end and do all this we just put it at uh, the edge of the shorter side So I'll put one more just to fill the gap and to make it nice. I will do the same for the other side. If you want, you can also plot them. I decided to leave them like that. So now we cut the desire then. And here the scarf is ready. So I wanted, I did it long because I wanted to go double like that. Let me put it under. Under the hair will be better. How gorgeous is that? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you enjoyed it like and subscribe